Yo, what's up? This is Joseph Anthony Norman, and this is Fluid Levels. Let's go! I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. First thing that I do is I record all of the information from the POC. The POC stands for Pop Off Controller. It controls when the unit turns on and when it turns off. And we record the data, the loadings, gearbox, rods, pump. And, uh, some of them have VFD, which is a ver veritable speed drive or veritable frequency drives. And they control the speed of how fast the unit, uh, the unit is moving based on the downhole condition. So this is the first thing that I do. Basically, what I do every day is I drive out to the well site. <clears throat> I drive out to location and uh, I attach my equipment to the well. Once I attach my equipment to the well, I open the valves and uh, I, I shut in the flow line valve and I shoot an acoustic pulse down the well bore and it reflects off of uh, changes in cross-sectional area. It reflects off of fluid, uh, emulsion. And uh, my job is to determine how much fluid is in this well to see how well we are pumping this well off. Pumping the well off means are we getting, are we maximizing the well's performance based on the inflow of this particular uh, well bore and based on the design of this particular artificial lift system. So um, that's all I do, man. It's just me and the well. This is a nitrogen 40. I use this to charge my gun. Charge it up to 600 PSI. And we go to the wellhead. So now we just gonna tie this into the wellhead. Gotta make sure uh, don't touch this antenna or don't separate this antenna from the board. Got a little leak on there because it's only hand tight, so a little bit. So, uh, So the rest of this work, mostly done in the truck. I have a, a base station right here. This base station uh, sends a wireless signal to the equipment. And uh, this is connected to my computer, so everything works wirelessly. So I just go and start a test, double check and make sure that I'm on the right well. You don't ever want to uh, shoot on the wrong well and have to backtrack and just waste a lot of time. So it's 22 K H K 
and then it's as simply as just clicking the button. And there you go. So it's just gonna run its acoustic trace and me as the technician have to identify where the fluid is in all these squiggly lines, right? And the uh, software has already chosen this as the distance to the fluid, but I have to confirm that. You know, the software ain't always right. You gotta be smarter than the software. And like this one right here chose a down kick, but I can't confirm it. You know, I can mess around with it and uh, try to find out if that's the true fluid level, then where's the reflection, okay? This is gonna take a little figuring out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and shoot this, uh, this well again, and I'm gonna increase the charge of the nitrogen that I put inside the gun. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so now that I recharged the gun, let's start this test all over again. Why do I have negative six? Okay. What? So now we're gonna take that shot again. And hopefully with the larger charge, larger shot, it's gonna get a, a clearer acoustic trace. And we're gonna be able to identify the down kick where the fluid level is. So we're gonna let that trace run. All right, and we're gonna put shot complete. And then we're gonna try to find this. See, that's a little bit more clear. You see that? Clear down kick right here at about 2.7, about 2.8 seconds, 1,700 feet from surface. So that means that the echo, the reflection, should be twice as much, right? So if it's 2.8, double that, 5.6. So this down kick right here should be the reflection of the fluid level, and it should be around 5.6, what's 5.5, okay? Close enough. I get through completing my test and typing up my report. It's so on to the next one. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Oh yeah, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share. And for everybody that's brand new, everybody that's brand new, which is pretty much everybody is brand new. <clears throat> Let me just tell you a little story. I had this YouTube channel for I don't know how many years. And I uh, started posting shorts. And a few of them went viral and blew up. So over the last four months, I've gained over 200,000 subscribers. Um, the whole point of me posting these videos was to just document my experiences in the oil field. I never knew what would come out of it, but um, since y'all are here, thank you for being here. Let me know in the comments what y'all would like to see. I'm thinking that y'all would want some education. Y'all might want antics too. Not so much on the antics. I'm not into antics, but I do like to have fun with it. Y'all uh, stay warm, stay safe.